Hey cruisers, we're trying something a little bit different today. We were looking for a short, rather inexpensive option for a quick cruise, and we found the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line. So we checked it out. Online reviews were a bit mixed, but we thought it might be worth checking it out for you. So we're today on board the Grand Classica. Let's see what it's about. So we're sailing out of Palm Beach, and so far, so good. The buffet lunch for embarkation, okay. I'd say the quality really of, uh, reminded me of being in college, my old days, and the, uh, the buffets we would have at our college cafeteria. So 
the food in the buffet, don't expect very much. We'll see how dinner is. We're gonna try a special restaurant tomorrow, the Yellow Elder Main Dining Room tonight. But you know what? For the price that you're paying, and the vice person of the concierge package, which gives you a little bit of alcohol to make you feel better, you have the same view as if you were selling on Seaborn as you're selling out of Palm Beach. So we woke up in Freeport, Grand Bahama. How's it so far? Embarkation was facilitated by a special package we opted in for. It's called the Concierge Package and cost roughly $300 per couple. With the Concierge Package, you met at the pier by a representative who escorts you right to the registration process and the front of the line. From there, you're taken onto the ship and brought to your concierge, who's almost like your genie on Royal Caribbean. The concierge reviews your itinerary for the, uh, the cruise and makes reservations. Reservations for what? Well, guess what? The concierge package comes with almost everything you can imagine. So you get one specialty restaurant dinner. You get special VIP seating in the main dining room the other night. You get two champagne breakfasts in the Admiralty restaurant, which is the steakhouse restaurant. Uh, you get this whole host of amenities, even a massage for two, a couple's massage. And the concierge makes all of those reservations right as you get on board the ship. So our cruise started with part of the concierge package being a wine tasting event. That provided us with the opportunity to go through three stations that had uh, about three bottles each and have unlimited amounts of samplings of each of those wines. We finished the wine sampling with an amazing drink. It was a frozen rosé. I've never had anything like it before, but it was delicious and they gave us a to-go cup to bring back to our cabin. I think it's probably the most wine I've ever drank in one sitting in my life. As an extra perk for the wine tasting, they actually have live music with a tremendous saxophone player who had background music and walked amongst us while playing the sax. Also included in the concierge package at Sail Away, a private VIP reception with open bar and a beautiful lounge in the back part of the ship, the aft section, so we can see Palm Beach as we sailed out with unlimited drinks. chose to dine the first night in the main dining room called the Yellow Elder. Elder, by the way, is a duck, and if you check out our video from when we went to uh, Greenland and Iceland, we actually visited a place where they had elder ducks, but that's besides the point. Dinner was really surprisingly good. There's a little VIP section for those in the concierge package. The menu is the same, but uh, definitely better than I had expected. Small ship, small cruise line, two night cruise. We weren't really expecting very much from the way of entertainment. But last night's show was actually pretty good. There was a variety of, I think, seven singers and dancers. They had very strong voices. They had great dance moves. There was a couple that did acrobatics, and hanging from the ceiling, that kind of stuff. Uh, the variety of music ranged from high energy Motown to Latin with Celia Cruz. Overall, very enjoyable experience. After waking up in Freeport, Grand Bahama, 
we enjoyed our first champagne breakfast on board the Grand Classic. And it was a really nice breakfast. So it's now the second and last night of our mini cruise on Grand Classica. It was a cloudy, dreary, rainy day. So the crew staff uh, made adjustments and they, for example, showed a movie in the theater today. We also had opportunity as part of the concierge package to take a tour of the ship's bridge. Tonight we had our concierge dinner in the Admiralty restaurant, the steak and seafood restaurant, and it really was quite good. So tonight's show was just as good as the first night's show. The nine member cast, which has great strong voices, great dancing, two acrobats, did everything from the Beatles, a tap dancing rendition of Beatles, to Ballroom Blitz. Really good show. Looking back upon our experience in the past 48 hours or so or less, the last time we were on the ship was in January 1992 for the inaugural cruise in which Angie Dickinson christened her. All these years later, considering the age of the old lady, meaning the ship, not Angie Dickinson, we were really impressed. The ship is well maintained. She's clean. Uh, the bridge has been modernized. Most of the facilities have been modernized. LED lights in the showroom. Uh, the ship is clean. The, the crew was wonderful. So we didn't really expect much, money. small ship, two night cruise, we didn't really expect much. much. So after waking up in Freeport, Grand Bahama, we enjoyed our first champagne bed day. So it's the second night of our second, so it's our second and last night on board Grand Classica. Today it was kind of raining, forget it. So tonight's show with the nine singers, dancers, and acrobats, great dancing, great voices, strong voices, was as good as the first night. Doing everything from the Beatles to a curious kind of tap dance Beatles to Bohemian Rhapsody. No, it wasn't Bohemian Rhapsody.